everyone, and thank you for joining me today for this week's Storytime Friends Takeout activity. I am Miss Lisa with the Osceola Library System. To follow along at home, you can download the PDF instructions. The link is found in the description below this video. This week's theme is poetry, and we are going to make a poetry mobile. And my theme this week for my poetry mobile is spring. And you can see all of my other shapes of different colors. All of these words are description words that talk about spring or talk about the things that I wrote down. So for our activity today, you will need the following supplies. You will need colored cardstock. And what I did was I cut out a bunch of different shapes, not too big, not too small, that I can write words on. You'll need about 40 beads, any kind will do a marker or markers to write with, scissors to cut with, and a hole punch to punch the holes with. You will also need some string, about 12 to 18 inches long. You could use yarn and some pipe cleaners. I have six and I cut them in half. Now you might want to wait till the middle of your activity when you start using them to, before you cut them because you might want some longer, you might want some shorter. So let's get started. The first thing I did was I cut a rectangle about eight inches by three inches, and I wrote the word spring on it because today we're making a spring mobile. Now, you'll see some holes that I punched in that. I probably would wait until we're just about finished, but I did it to make it a little bit easier for us today. Now, I also laid out all of my shapes. This way I know what goes where. On this instruction flyer, you have a template that you can use to help you make your poem. So the first thing I did was wrote spring. Now you'll see I have three shapes underneath spring. I'm gonna write color words. Color words are things that I would find in spring. So let me think. My first shape is like a lime green. I could write a different color on that or I could write something that I would find that would be green. Hmm, let me think. Hmm, what color might I see in spring? Huh, I might find green, so I'm going to write the word green on it. All right. Now, I'm gonna put that back where it was. And my next layer of my mobile are three things that I would find with those three colors in spring. So what's something I might find that's green in spring? Hmm. Hmm, green. Oh, I know, grass. So I'm gonna write the word grass. And I'm going to put it on my pink triangle and put it back. Now, so I wrote the color was green, something that's green, grass, and an action word, something that grass does. What's a word that describes grass? An action word. Hmm. I know. Grass grows. And it grows tall. So maybe I will write grows tall on that one. Oh. Then I would do the same thing for my other two columns. My color. That's something I would find in spring. What I would find in spring that's that's color and then some description words or action words of things that they do. Same thing for that row. Then, once I've done that, I am going to take my top heading that says spring, I'm gonna take a pipe cleaner and I'm going to drop it. No, I'm just teasing you. I'm, oh, I dropped it again, it's just jumping out of my hands. I'm going to take it and I'm gonna fold it down a little bit. I'm gonna bend it down, makes like a hook. And I'm going to do the same thing to the bottom. Bend it up, makes a hook, and you've got it. I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it in that hole that I punched. And look what I can do. If I squeeze it, it won't come out. Now I'm going to take my first row of shapes, my shape that says green on it, that was my color, put it there, and I'm going to press it again like that. And look, it's not going to fall off. Isn't that awesome? But before I do that, guess what I forgot to do? I was supposed to put some beads on there. Hmm, wow. I'm gonna take three beads on my 
I clean them. Doesn't matter what color you pick. They just will look pretty. They make it look pretty. If you don't have any beads at home, that's fine too. All right, then I'm gonna bend that back up. Oh, make sure you put your words on the right way. And I'm going to hook it on. Look how pretty that looks. Right? And I'm gonna continue the same way, taking my pipe cleaner, bending the top to make a hook, putting three beads on it. If you have a lot of beads, you can put more beads. Like I said, if you don't have any beads, you don't really have to use beads. It's totally up to you. Use your imagination. And then I'm gonna hook the bottom. And I am going to put this on the bottom of grass. You can see I poked my hole in there, right? And I'm gonna press it shut so it doesn't come off. It's a little hard. So if you have little hands at home, what you might wanna do is you might wanna follow along in the instructions and you'll see a little asterisk. It tells you you can jump to step number seven, which is putting the string up here first and then you can hang it. And it might be easier for those little hands to do it while it's hanging down. Now I'm going to take my next one, put it on that hook, and I'm going to hook it. Look how pretty that is. And this is where I said you might want to see if you want to cut your pipe cleaners in half, or you might want to cut them a little smaller or a little longer. It's up to you. And the very last one I wanted to do was my grass is green, it grows tall. I'm going to put three more beads on this and then I'm going to hook on the very last one. All right, so this is going to hook on the bottom of my shape. Press it shut on the top. Oops, I forgot to hook it. Through my word and it's going to go like that. And this is what I have. And you can see the color is green. What do you find that's green in the spring? Grass. And my description word, or my action word, what does the grass do? It grows tall. Now fast forward a bit and write your words on the rest of your shapes and hang them up onto your pipe cleaners to create your finished mobile. And you'll see here, spring is the theme or the title of my poem. Here's my color word, pink. What's pink in spring? Flowers. And here's my action word. What do flowers do? They bloom, blooming. I have my yellow bee, and he's buzzing, flying, and sitting. And I have my green plants growing. Now, don't forget to take pictures of your completed mobile and upload them to social media and tag the library. Now, for younger kids that may not be able to write the words, they can draw a picture, or they can cut a picture out of a magazine. And for older kids, they might think that's fun too. So if they can write the word, they can write the word on the back. Rain and the picture from the magazine. Or here is a picture of a butterfly and they wrote butterfly on the back of the picture and then hooked them up. And if they want to create another one, they can do one in addition to spring. If you go to our instruction flyer, there's a little template that tells you how you can create a different one using what words. And of course, since we're talking about spring, come on into the library. We have so many books on spring. This one's titled, It's Spring. It was written by Jackie Hecht and illustrated by Aurora Aguilera. So come into the library and check out books on spring, or you can find books on different activities or crafts or anything. So make sure you come in and visit us and check out some books. And I hope you had fun making your spring mobile with me. And I hope to see you next time when we do our next story time friends takeout activity. See you then.